Click the link in the description to download your own copy of this video's problem. Hey guys, Russ here. Welcome back to another fantastic chemistry video. And today we're going to react mercury to sulfate in the presence of sulfuric acid with a alkyne, terminal alkyne, to form a ketone. One thing to keep in mind really quick, whenever you see sulfuric acid in a reaction, there is also water. Because sulfuric acid exists in water. Got to have sulf If you have sulfuric acid, you do have some amount of water. Okay, So there's also water in this reaction. So to remind ourselves, let's just put water in there. Sulfuric acid always has water, but let's remind ourselves. All right, so now we have mercury 2 sulfate. So that means the mercury has a 2 plus charge. And there's a sulfate ion kicking around with a negative 2, two negative charge. It's a spectator. We don't have to worry about it. So here, the pi bond will attack the mercury. And that will give us, let me just draw it over this way. A vinyl cation. So that's known to happen in this reaction. You, the pi bond attacks the mercury, forming a vinyl cation. At this point, the water that I was talking about attacks the carbon, the ca carbocation, cation, I should say, and that. We'll provide this protonated alcohol. Which will then be deprotonated. to give us this alcohol. There we go. Now at this point, oops. Hydronium, which is what is the business part of um, of a acid, of course. Acid and water gives you hydronium. There we go. So the alcohol, pi, uh, pi, sorry, the uh, lone pair on the alcohol comes down, forms a pi bond between oxygen and carbon. This pi bond then protonates, or in other words, deprotonates, hydronium. Oops. There we go. Now at this point, notice we have a positive charge on the ketone and we have a mercury carbon bond here. So what happens is these electrons come back, liberating the mercury. So at this point, the mercury is, after this arrow, these electrons go here to form a pi bond between carbon and carbon. So now the mercury is liberated as mercury plus two. So in other words, we use the mercury plus two, and then we generate it again. So in other words, the mercury is catalytic. So cat is catalytic in mercury, because we're getting it back right here. 
you can't really see me, can you? There we go. I can see the top of my head. See? There. Oops, can't go that way. Let's go this way. Sorry, it's getting a little tight on space here, guys. All right, so now we have what is called enol. This is enol. And enol is known to be unstable. Enone is known to want to convert to keto. So here's how it does it. Very similar to what we saw here. Pi, a lone pair kicks down, forms a pi bond between carbon and oxygen. Pi bond deprotonates hydronium, giving you the pro, essentially a protonated ketone. Oops, let me keep that color consistent. There we go. So here's my protonated ketone, which of course will be deprotonated by water. So it's also catalytic in acid. And here is the product. Sorry that's a little crowded there at the end, guys. Uh, I just kind of ran out of space. But that's life. Now, this mechanism is a little steppy. It's got more steps than probably you're used to, and that's okay. Do it again. Just do it a couple of times on, by yourself. Make sure you got it. It's a common question on exams, at least for me. So make sure you can do it. And with that, guys, I, I want to ask you, please slap that like button. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe to my channel. And with that, I want to wish you all good luck and good chemistry. We'll see you soon. Email drbetts at protonmail.com if you would like a copy of every problem in this series.